Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing off my latest completed commission. Now if you follow me pretty much anywhere else, you've probably already seen photos of this, but I did just finish my first ever full suit commission. This suit was commissioned by a lovely local fur who's been supporting my business for a long time and it was an absolute pleasure to bring their suit to life. So as per my usual suits on display kind of video, I'm just going to be going through each part of the suit, showing it off, telling you about the features, uh, just so you can have a bit of a close up look into how my suits are made and what they're like. So this is Ari the Corgi. This is the head as you can see. Uh, hopefully he's all kind of in frame. <laughs> um, so it is a corgi. Um, we do have magnetic eyebrows, which are pretty cool. I'm still kind of learning how to do these, so they're not um, super sturdy. But uh, I let the customer know and everything about that. Um, there was a few sort of experimental things on this suit as well. Um, but yeah, so this is the head. We've got this cute little hair poof that does a nice little jiggle. Um, and... Yeah, I'm really actually really happy with how this head turned out. Um, I also have started doing a new lining technique with the insides of my suits, kind of hoping that I'll be able to show you. Whoop. Hopefully you can see. Um, yeah, there we are. Um, I always line all of my suits, but now I've started adding the lining a bit longer so that I can stitch it to the neck fur, which pretty much just eliminates any exposed foam anywhere. Um, I'm sure if you looked really hard you might be able to find a little bit but uh, I try my best to keep all the foam hidden. But yeah so this is the head. We've got these cute little fluffy ear pieces um, as well which I love and uh, just this nice sort of neutral happy expression which is very popular. A lot of my customers like just this sort of neutral expression. So next up we have the paws. These are puffy paws with no claws. Um, they are nice and squishy and comfy. I love this style of paws. They're just really nice and bappy. Um, so they do have stuffed fingers and stuffed paw pads as well. And they are fully lined with my logo as well, which is always nice. So yeah, those are, those are the paws. The tail is uh, a, a new style of tail that I, I made specifically for this commission. I'm just kind of calling it my long nub tail, but it's this sort of sleek kind of, it's not like a wolf length tail, but it's longer than my nub tail. So um, I really like how this looks and I think it works perfectly for this character. Then we have the feetsies. These are in my planty grade outdoor style. So we've got outdoor soles on them. So they're fine to walk out around on whatever you want. Um, these are fully lined. I have to line my feet paws because these are completely stuffed. There is no foam in my feet paws uh, aside from the EVA soles, but they are just fully stuffed with polyfill um, and they're basically like wearing a giant slipper. They're very comfy and I do love them. Uh, it was not my decision to have white feet paws on a suit, but uh, that was the customer's decision and uh, I will just do what they want. <laughs> I know some people uh, find it difficult to clean white feet, but uh, yeah, that's just uh, that's what we've got. And finally we have the bodysuit, which I will zip up so you can actually see. Um, I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to get. <laughs> so this is the bodysuit. It is a planty grade bodysuit. This is my first ever planty grade suit, um, full suit, and it was heaps of fun. And the client is coming to pick it up this weekend, so I'm really hoping that it fits and everything. Um, I'm sure it'll be okay. It was made off their duct tape dummy, so everything should be fine size wise. But yeah, so this is the suit. We've got the short fur down the belly, um, which comes onto the back as well, um, and through the crotch, which I'm not sure if you can see. Woo! Um, I also tried this technique with the tail hole. Um, basically the tail slips in there and then you brush this fur over it so that it gives a more seamless look into it and I really like how that turned out. Um, one of my personal suits from another maker has this and I thought I'd just try it out because uh, I really like how it works. But yeah, so that's that little bit. And we've got bias binding around the top. I like to bias bind pretty much everything that has a raw edge um, that you can see just because it looks pretty, I think. The zipper is slightly not as invisible as I would have liked, but it's not too bad. I think it was mostly just because it's the short fur, it's a bit harder to disguise. Um, but we do have a nice long zipper on here, so it's easy to get on and off. And yeah, that is that's the bodysuit. Woo! 
hope you guys enjoyed this little video and these videos in general where I just show off my commissions and pre-mades and all sorts of things. Um, if you have any questions about this suit or commissions in general or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!